One of the things I remember very much about starting the uh, YouTube channel, Complicated Things, was we'd be doing something and we'd need a tripod, and I'd grab a tripod, and he said, oh, that's not a video head, that's a, that, that stills tripod. I'm like, that's a tripod, put it on. Can't do that. We learned really early on that you need actually a tripod and a video head to make video. Um, we reached out to our friends at Benroll. They sent us some video tripods which have changed the look and feel of our channel immensely. I thought we'd show you a little BTS today about how we use the heads, how we use the tripods, and the difference it can make from looking eh to looking not so eh. Let's go. We're shooting this on our ACAM. This is our ACAM setup. Um, we built this, it's a little more advanced than our B-cam setup, which I'm going to show you right now. This is a Aero 7 tripod from Benro with an S6 Pro head, and this is where we started, and this is what we still use our B-cam on. This is our little B-cam. I've just shot some B-roll, which means that somebody else is probably going to have to shoot the B-roll again because of my B-roll abilities, but I'm going to show you how quick it is and easy it is for us to get it balanced on this tripod. Okay folks, to start getting our B-cam on this tripod, it's super important that everything is level and well balanced. Um, we have our legs open as wide as they can before we do the adjustment. Now this is an adjustment that you could use if you needed your legs wider than that, but just a regular width is that if in doubt open your legs wide so all our legs are spread at the same distance apart so it should be pretty close to level but what we do have is on this ball head if i just loosen it off there we have a little light with a plumb level and i can just lock down my ball head nice and level and that's a good start Next I'm going to do is zero out these two uh, settings here. One is for the fluid drag and the other one is for balance. I'm kind of going to explain that to you in a second. So they're both at zero. I'm going to take my little B cam. I'm going to slide it on from the back. And then I'm going to hold it pretty tight because what I'm going to do is try and find like kind of a, a level point where feels pretty level. This looks pretty good. I'm not going for perfection here, but I'm going for as near as I can. Tighten my camera down. Motorbikes. I'm going to start off with my counterbalance here. I'm going to turn that up to get some resistance, which is pretty good. I'm getting a reasonable amount of resistance, which is great. And then the other adjustment is, if I swing it around this way guys, is the fluid drag control. So the idea is to get your uh, tripod and camera balanced in such a way that you can actually point it at where you want it to be and let it go, either up or down, obviously left or right. Um, this is great because if you're doing a scene and you get a little bit of an itchy leg on both legs, you can scratch them and still come back to your tripod. This head has dual fluid functionality. So um, this is the second fluidy bit and that works on the pan. So I can spin the camera super easily. Am I allowed to do that? Or I can tighten up this and get a really nice smooth pan. And I'm able to put some pressure on it and really get a smooth pan. Now, the important thing about panning and leveling is if you don't have a level tripod, you're going to get panned for your pan. So you want to have a level tripod so you get a nice smooth pan. Try it. Actually, we'll show you. This is going to be a non-level pan. And this one's going to be a smooth level pan.
As primarily a stills photographer, the idea for me to buy a piece of gear that I couldn't use for my stills was kind of upsetting because although I very rarely use tripods, I always take one on set with me in case I need it, if I can be bothered carrying it. But I know that I should take one on set. So what's super cool about this guy is how quickly I can convert it to a stills tripod. Um, just gonna take off our little B-roll camera. Gonna tighten down the fluid head, the fluid thing, and then I'm gonna twist this head off. There's a lot of heads I'd like to twist off, but this one comes off easily. So just grab my little Benro B2 stills head, screw that guy on. This is a Leica S, which is not a light camera. Pop this guy on, tighten up. And I have a really fine tripod for my stills camera. What I actually like about this little B2 head is that I've got my usual controls, my friction control on the ball and how tight I want my ball. Sometimes I like my ball really tight. Sometimes I like my ball a little looser. But what's cool is that the extra ball on the tripod itself gives you, I think, 15 degrees for some extra movement, which is cool. Um, and it means that I have my regular stills tripod with me as well as a video tripod with me in all situations. Another thing which is really cool, which we use a lot, is the little accessory pin here. We hang a lot of batteries and stuff when we're shooting, so it's really cool to have that. Hang a battery there, it gives us some extra weight, um, which is great. Last time I'm going to show you one thing which I think is brilliant. If I just unscrew the center column, take that off for a sec, and then unscrew the top of the center column. This can actually go in underneath. which allows you to hang a tripod really low to the ground, which is great if you need a really low shot. But something that I like even more than that is if I grab this leg here that has got the rubber on it. Now, I love rubber and I love legs and a rubber leg. Ooh. So if I grab this and just unscrew it, put these guys down for a second, Grab the head and the top of the center column. I got a great monopod, which is something I use, which is great. Obviously, I can take this head off and put the video head back on. Um, but yeah, it just stops me carrying a monopod, or if I don't want to use a monopod, I got a tripod. So I think it's great value for money. I can see very few things that are facts. But one thing I can say for a fact is that if you want to get some smooth pans and to get some good video shots from a camera on a tripod, get yourself a tripod and a fluid head. Now, they come in prices from eh to uh, and we kind of know what happens when you go for the eh, you kind of regret it and have to buy another one. And if you go for the uh, you're still wondering if you ever needed to spend that amount of money. We found Benro really good in the middle option. We've been using it for a little while and we're super happy with it. Do the research, look what's out there, but please, you wanna up your game, get yourself a reasonable tripod and fluid video head. You're gonna do better. See you next time, bye.